How long will it take to close on my house? I'm so excited to move in. Want to know? Well, watch this video. Hi there, I'm Jesse Kern, the Singing Realtor. Welcome home! If you want to know about Des Moines area real estate on a regular basis, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Excited to close on your new house? Ooh, what an emotional experience it can be. Curious, just how long is it going to take? How long is underwriting? Well, I'm going to answer that for you today. So I'm just your average 20 something year old millennial. Let me get this straight. So I can go online and I can buy my headphones or my ball cap on the internet, click, click, and then Amazon Prime delivers it in like a couple hours. But for mortgage on a house, I have to wait a month or more. <laughs> you people need to get into the 21st century. Buying a house should just be click, click. It really depends upon three major things. Number one, you as the buyer. Number two, your lender's experience and just how good their back-end underwriting process is. And then number three, the seasonality. What time of year you went under contract. Let's first talk about you as a buyer. First off, if you are on top of everything that the lender, your loan officer, and the loan processor asks for, all the documentations from two years worth of tax returns, two W-2s, two bank statements, all that stuff. If you sign the electronic disclosures in a timely fashion, you're gonna close faster than someone who's, mm, you know, not as responsive. You mean I have to put in work to get a mortgage? <laughs> and even if I was paying cash in Iowa, it could still take three to four weeks? What? Ugh. So that, that's really the main thing that you can do as a buyer to speed up the process is be very proactive and be very responsive when your lender asks for documentation. Now, I'm gonna keep this real. <clears throat> if you have like a high credit score, plenty of cash to put down for whatever your loan program is, and your debt to income ratio is low, you're going to have an easier time in the underwriting process. You might sell right through. If you have a lower credit score, higher debt to income ratio, even if you have a lot of cash but your credit score is lower, it might be a little bit more difficult to get through underwriting because it's just a harder file. The whole credit rating system is basically a way that banks and lenders can gauge the risk that they're taking when they give out loans. Quick note if you're self-employed or own a business or you're an investor, the logarithms for lenders, they like that W-2 employee. If you're not a W-2 employee, it might be a little bit longer, a few extra steps or that sort of thing. So don't be surprised, just stay on top of whatever your lender asks for. Let's talk about lender experience. If your loan officer's been in the game for 20 plus years, they probably know what they're doing. If they're a newer lender, mm, they may not. You have to look at it like this. Your loan officer is like the attorney in the courtroom. The underwriter's a judge and the loan processor is like the clerk. So a really good loan officer is going to argue your case for your file to the underwriter. A really good loan officer is going to know the guidelines for FHJ, USDA, conventional loans. And sometimes I've had loan officers point things out to underwriters because the underwriter didn't know the guidelines as well as the loan officer did. So you definitely want a really good loan officer that's the kind of person that's going to stand up for you, care about your file, and pick up the phone sometimes to get the back end of the process to move along if there's any hiccups. Lastly, seasonality. So if you're buying in the spring when there's lots of sellers and lots of buyers and there's a lot of transactions, a lender might ask for a longer process because they know that their underwriting department may be backed up. They might ask for 45 to 60 days, when normally in the fall or winter, they might be able to do it in 30 or 35. Before the pandemic came, 
It was typical to close in 30, 35, 40 days. When the pandemic came, interest rates were so low, tons of people were wanting to buy and sell and take advantage of that. A lot of lenders were like, ugh, we need more time to close these loans just because of the volume. So you really have your real estate agent ask your lender up front, when can we realistically close? The more communication between your realtor and your loan officer, the better. If you enjoyed today's video and want more information, click the link below in the description and get a free copy of the difference between an appraisal and an inspection. A lot of buyers don't know. They think they're the same thing and they're not. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Give a like in the comments, make a suggestion or ask a question. Have a blessed day.